Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to thank Ms. Deborah Hansen for her service to the people of Florida's 6th Congressional District over the last three years in my office. Deborah was born in Salem, Oregon, to her parents, Bill and Faye Hansen. After graduating high school, Ms. Hansen left Salem to attend the University of Utah, where she, achieved, where she received her bachelor's degree in science and sociology, with an emphasis on criminology, social work, and child welfare. Upon graduating from the University of Utah, Ms. Hansen began her steadfast and inspiring career of public service. Deborah devoted her over 30 years of work to the juvenile justice programs in Oregon and Utah. And during this time, she also taught criminal justice courses as an adjunct professor for local community colleges. All, while attaining all of her accomplishments, Deborah is most proud of raising her four beautiful children, Dustin, Dalton, Dane, and Danielle. Prior to coming to my office, Ms. Hansen served with Representatives Crescent Hardy of Nevada and Representative Jason Lewis of Minnesota. In 2019, I was fortunate enough to have Deborah join my team uh, as my office manager. She quickly proved herself to be an invaluable asset, overseeing multiple meetings, uh, the many requests we received, managing the daily operations of my Washington, D.C. office, and most importantly, keeping a freshman member of Congress on track. No easy task, for sure. Uh, not only did she keep all of us in line, but Deborah also brought a great spirit to our office. She always brought in baked goods to share, had a new story to tell, whether it be a memory of her time on the West Coast, the latest adventures of our grandchildren, or about some mischief of our new puppy, Tucker, uh, that, uh, that he had managed to get himself into. We were all ears. Uh, Deborah is diligent, she's talented, hardworking, but above all, she's kind. And while I'm sad to see her leave, I can say without a doubt, she has made both our office and our country a better place. We wish Deborah a happy and hopefully very relaxing retirement in the country, filled with quality time with her four children, 13 grandchildren, and her favorite puppy, Tucker. However, I know this is not the end of Deborah's public service, but the start of a new adventure in service to her community. Madam Speaker, I ask my colleagues in the United States House of Representatives to join me in commending Ms. Deborah Hansen for her lifelong career of servant leadership. From the bottom of our hearts, we wish Deborah the best as she embarks on this next chapter in her life. Madam Speaker, I yield.